4th, and the City of San Angelo Development Corporation is now, the meeting is now called to order. We'd like to open with a prayer uh, presented by Scott Tankersley. Please bow your heads with me. Our most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful morning. I pray that you be with all the school kids who are going back to school, be with their parents as their kids are going back to school. I ask that you would be with our men and women in harm's way and in overseas, bring them home to their families as safe and soon as possible. And Lord, I ask that you, be mind, that you help us be mindful of what we can do for you. I ask these things in your son's name. Amen. 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 All right, now we open for public comment. Issues or items that are not on the agenda may be raised by the public at this time. Citizens should speak from the podium, begin by stating their name, and limit remarks to less than five minutes. Board members may request that a discussed item be placed on a future agenda. The board takes public comment on all regular agenda items during the discussion of those items. We have no one for public you comment. Jamie. Hold on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Good morning, Jamie Rainey with Howard College. Good morning. I brought y'all some pictures because you're a part of this. Yesterday, and I'm going to hand these to you, yesterday we had our very first class for our RN program. Right. And I commend you because if it weren't for you and your financial support, we would not be here. So thank you so very much. You've made 50 students extremely cool. happy. Yay. That's awesome. <laughs> And we'd really like to thank um, Edward Carrasco also for going with us to Austin. He was great. We had a wonderful contingency to go to the Board of Nursing to get this program approved. And again, thank y'all so much for your support in person as well as financial and helping us with the same vision that we had to help meet the short, shorting nurses, nursing shortage of this community. So thank you so very much, and we appreciate your support. Thank you, Jamie. Thank, thank you. you for all you do, Jamie. All right, now we're going to move on to the consent agenda. Does anyone have anything to add or discuss or make a comment on? All right. Second. We got a motion to approve by Juan and a second by... Mr. Richard. Oh, I didn't speak loud enough. I didn't speak loud. I'll get you on the next one. I got it. Thanks, Scott. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to move on to got regular it. agenda item. You got to approve your motion. Oh, I'm sorry. We need to approve the motion for the consent agenda. Aye. 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 One favor. All right. Now we're going to move to regular agenda item, uh, line item A. She's not in favor of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Line item A is consideration of a resolution to approve an economic development BREP initiative to Caltech Software Systems, Inc. in the amount of $603,050, recommending ratification by the City Council and authorizing the Board President to negotiate and execute a performance agreement in substantially the same form as the attached presented by... Bob Schneeman. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, board, this is a, uh, a fairly typical um, BREP project. Uh, it's an existing company, Caltech. Um, they are in the uh, uh, computer support business. Um, they currently uh, have 38 full-time positions, but over the next five years, they're looking to hire somewhere between 15 and 100 uh, additional full-time employees. These are very good paying jobs. Um, the base salary um, starts at about 30,000 plus benefits, but most of their people uh, with performance bonuses and what have you are making uh, 60,000 plus. So, and, and these jobs are all uh, technical jobs that, that uh, uh, will be those higher paying jobs. So um, staff feels that this is a very um, uh, worthwhile project. The, uh, 
the incentives that we're looking at, uh, development fee reimbursement of $600, that's basically for permit fees for some of their um, uh, capital improvements that they intend to make. Um, annual tax grants, uh, total $1,950. Again, they're, they're looking at doing about $100,000 in uh, capital improvements to their building or a combination of capital improvements and uh, uh, business personal property that's taxable. Um, and it's probably going to exceed those, those numbers, but we, we kind of put these in as a minimum. Um, sales, sales and use tax rebate, of course, this is for, um, it's a rebate of the city's portion of the sales tax in the event that uh, as long as they purchase their uh, materials, construction materials locally, uh, we will rebate 1% uh, up to a total of $500. Um, <clears throat> that is the city's portion of it only. Job creation is by far the largest component of this at $5,000 per, per full-time employee. That would be $500,000 if they reach the 100 mark, which is the maximum. And in addition to that, um, if they take advantage of some of the job training programs that are available through Howard College and through workforce development, through workforce uh, uh, commission, um, we would pay them an additional $1,000 per employee who successfully completes uh, those, tr those training programs. So that brings it to a total of $603,050. All right. Uh, do we have any discussion? Right. What's the time frame, Bob? Um, it, it, we're, we're structuring the agreement to go out five years. That allows some flexibility for the company, I mean, as, as business cycles go up and down. Right. And Bob, I ask this as a rhetorical for the sake of the public. These monies will be paid in arrears, in other words, after? Yes, sir. Uh, after performance, uh, not a gift up front. That's correct. They And... Uh, am I correct in assuming that there's a, a far greater economic impact as far as dollars rolling over and over and over again in our local economy? Absolutely. It's a, a, there's about a factor of three to three and a half minimum um, uh, on jobs of this nature um, as far as the multiplier. Um, and that's just the, that's, that's multiple, multiplier of the salaries. So if you do, if you do the math there, that's, it's, it's quite a large number. Um, and you're correct, uh, we pay those incentives upon uh, verification that the jobs have been created, and then they're required to maintain those jobs, not necessarily the personnel, but the jobs, for a minimum of three years. In other words, personnel will come and go, but those positions have to remain filled for three years from the date, from the end of the year in which they are incentivized. Wonderful. Thank you. All right. Do we have any more comment or questions from the board? Motion approved. Okay. Second. All right. I had a motion uh, by Juan and a second by Mr. Barrio. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. It's unanimous. Um, moves on to public hearing. Uh, I might, or we might want to make note that uh, Scott Tankersley stepped out for that vote. All right, now we're moving on to public hearing required, section 505.159, hearing required to undertake project. Line item A, except as provided by subsection B, a type B corporation shall hold at least one public hearing before spending money to undertake the project. All right, this is public hearing regarding the allocation of $603,050 in half cent sales tax funds for economic development incentives to Caltech Software Systems, Inc. Um, Bob, take the floor. Thank you. Uh, we're, as, as the president stated, we're required to have a public hearing, um, so um, it would be um, appropriate for the board to ask for public comment at this time. All right, we have anyone to speak in public comment? Good morning, Jamie Rainey with Howard College again. Um, 
I wanted to speak because we have partnered with Caltech in the past uh, twice to do a skills development fund grant with them. They've been an excellent company to work with. So if we have an opportunity to do another training program, we would love to do that. Um, they are a, a great company for us to work with because they're really, once they commit to that training program, they've sent every single employee through the training that they committed to. And um, those employees are really are in the upper quartile because they are IT people, they're very specialized, and in almost all of their training that we've done in the past, it resulted in a higher level of certification for their employees. So I would anticipate that would be the type of training we would do again with them. So we've been really pleased to be a partner with them in the past, and I hope you will consider this, and we'll maybe have an opportunity to partner with them again in the future. Thank you. All right, is there anyone else open for public comment? All right, now we're gonna close the public hearing at this time and move on to line item C, consideration of authorizing the board president to negotiate and execute professional services contracts not to exceed 30,000 to include design, engineering, and surveying services with professional service providers deemed qualified by the city council for the city of San Angelo pursuant to PUR-03-14 for identifying delivery indefinite quality professional services and ES-04-15 for indefinite delivering indefinite quality professional services, infrastructure, engineering, and surveying services as needed for approved half cent sales tax projects presented by Bob Schneeman. Oh <laughs> hey. well, I'm, 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 mouthful. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Can we hear that again? Uh, let's try it one more time. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> this one's, God. That's a lot of indefinite. <laughs> Uh, as the board is aware, from time to time we've, we've required uh, engineering services um, for surveying work. Um, as an example, the recent uh, uh, an agenda item that you're going to see um, in a few minutes um, relative to a, a dedication of an easement, um, we've, we've had to work with uh, uh, engineers on, on cost estimating for proposed projects um, and evaluating those in, in order to be able to evaluate um, the cost of incentives that we might be offering, uh, particularly where it relates to the industrial park. Um, and, and we've got some uh, uh, infrastructure improvements that are going to be required at the industrial park as we move into phases two and three. So um, uh, staff's intent here is to follow the city's uh, procurement policy. Um, there are a list of uh, uh, engineers who, uh, engineering firms who um, have submitted their qualifications to the city and, and uh, it basically allows us to choose from that list and enter into an agreement, which would still uh, require board approval um, but it gives us the opportunity to uh, enter into an agreement and, and get, get uh, engineering services done uh, in a timely manner when we're trying to um, uh, facilitate a, a project. So uh, that, was the in, uh, that is the intent of this. Um, we, we were requesting $30,000 uh, maximum, and we would anticipate that that would be probably a minimum of three firms at $10,000 each. Um, however, it potentially could be one firm if uh, there were a large project that, that needed to be done in a fairly short order. All right, do we have any discussion from the board? Or any public comment? All right, if we can get a motion I'll make that motion. All right. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. And we're now moving on to line item D, public hearing regarding the allocation of 30,000 half cent sales tax to obtain engineering services on an as needed basis. Up. And, um, this is this is rel relates to the item that we just uh, that, that y'all just voted on, uh, and this would be the public hearing for a portion of that, which is the opportunity for the public to comment. 
Ask any public comment to step forward. There being none, we'll close public hearing and move on to line item E. Consider consideration of dedicating a 20 foot wide utility easement in phase one of the San Angelo Business and Industrial Park for the construction, operation, maintenance, replacement, repair, upgrade, and removal of water and sewer mains, utilities, and related prudences in Block 1, Section 1, San Angelo Gateway Edition, as recorded in Cabinet F, Slide 17, Platt Record of Tom Green County, Texas, and recommending ratification by the San Angelo City Council. Bob? Thank you, sir. Uh, as stated, this is, uh, uh, this is the uh, dedication of an, e of an easement for public utilities purposes. Specifically, it is the 20-foot sewer easement uh, that is required to provide uh, sewer mains to serve the proposed 14.85 acre tract, uh, and it would also serve other, um, the other tracks that back up to this. When the original uh, phase one improvements were done, sewers, the sewer mains were run in Venture Drive and in Gateway Drive, as shown here in orange. Um, those are, were fine um, when there was a single 55-acre parcel uh, identified in Section 1, but as we've subdivided these, these parcels, um, we've gotten to the point where, where the additional sewer was required. The board has approved um, uh, $110,000 for the construction of this sewer main. Um, they've also approved um, the city's engineering department to design this sewer, which they have done, and, it's, and they've also approved bidding uh, uh, of this project. Um, so we're down to creating the easement or dedicating the easement that would be required to construct this sewer main. And we've run it all the way from Gateway all the way to uh, Loop 306 in the event that in the future uh, we would need to extend that sewer in for any reason. This is the actual easement document, and uh, again, uh, you can see that uh, uh, basically it runs from uh, Gateway Drive to Loop 306, and it is a 20-foot wide easement. So it would be available for sewer and potentially other utilities if necessary. Staff is recommending approval. All right. Do we have any board discussion or any public comment? All right. We're going to... Motion to approve. Second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. All unanimous. And we now move on to closed session, but there is no line, there's no items to be. That's correct. We have no closed session items to, uh, right. for this meeting. So with there being no closed session, um, we are. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor. Aye. 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 <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Six.